And welcome back. Here we are. We're gonna go back to the light world. And I'm not entirely sure this works in the forest. Yep. Anyway, we're going to number six in the desert. Actually, I'm just kidding. We need to go to seven first. We have to pick up an item before we can get into the next dungeon. And that's no. We need our hammer first. We gotta get back to the dark world. But anyway, as I was saying at the end of last episode, uh, they were talking about the great cataclysm or whatever that happened in the past. And it was some evil one who took the power, the Triforce power, and was turning the world into an evil place. And they were waiting for a great hero to come and save they, basically. So some people believe that when you're in the dark world, like I am now, that world is the past. That is right before or during the Great Cataclysm, and we are the great hero that they were waiting for. And that's where the title, A Link to the Past, comes from. Uh, other people believe that events are recurring, and the Great Cataclysm is happening a second time, and we are a reincarnation of the great hero. So, that's kind of up to you to decide, I guess. I don't look into things that much, because I don't think the creators were uh, thinking about the massive story that has become Zelda. But anyway, here we are at this little stone monolith. Uh, if you read it, we don't know what that means. It's the same script that we saw before, though. Uh, if you use your nice book that we've got, it says something about Master Sword and Magic Bombos. Well, I don't know what that is. But, we have the Master Sword, so we're going to hold it up and create an explosion of fireworks. And we get a medallion. We need that magic. I think we need another one. There's actually three of them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the duck room. Now for the next one, well, there's three. Like I said, though the next one is near Zora's domain, where we got the flippers, and then the other one is on the top of Death Mountain. I'd I'm hoping that the one that I want is not on top of Death Mountain. I don't really want to do that. We should also restock up on potions. And we need some money for that. Well, we'll have to do that at some point. But not right now. Right now I'm going to head up to the Zora's area, but we're going to do that in the dark world, not the light world. I'm sure somewhere, someone somewhere will tell you to do this. But again, I don't remember that type of stuff. And once you do it a few times, that's just what you do. You don't really think about why or how. Anyway, here we are. I don't even know if I've been in here. Nothing. I could get that potion there. That, well, I don't have money, but I think he's more expensive than the witch. 
Which is silly because you can just use your mirror for free and get the witch's hut. Anyway, right in this screen, I think, yeah, there's this curious circle of rocks. Actually, there's a sign. Read the sign. It says something about curses to anybody who throws something in here. So I grab a bush or a rock or something and toss it in. Uh-oh. A fish. That's Quake. It's not the one that I need. So we do have to go to the top of Death Mountain. As I, as I feared. Oh, I thought I'd block that. Well, there's a quick way to get there. The only problem is getting to the dark world. No, it's in the right world. Just kidding. We're, uh, we're good. Never mind me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Travel the one that takes us to the old man's hut. Right here. I'll talk to him for my half heart that I'm missing. been through here before. Nothing new. I suppose I could just warp there for you guys. That would be edit the video out. But I don't feel like doing such a thing. You can watch me hit, hit by boulders. And see new enemies. There's new enemies since we've unlocked the dark world. I don't believe I've shown these before. I think they're called tech tights. Good old classic enemies from Zelda 1. Can't stun them. And here we are back in this area. As normal Link. There's our friends. Mr. Marshmallow. Mr. Bully. Anyway, if you go this way, there's another nice statue. Get our book for that. And we get our third and final magic of the game. Now we needed this one for the next area. Down in the desert. And we need the Quake spell for the last dungeon, Dungeon 7. But we don't need Bombos for anything, really. Anyway, now that I've wasted half the episode, let's actually go to number 6 on our fast travel. And since we have our gloves, we can put that up. And this is the only way to get to this area. Because I don't know if you remember, but when we got that Bombos... ...in the light world, when we got there in the dark world, uh, this is blocked off. This is the entrance in the light world. So that's different. There's... Our old cave here. I'm gonna do a little exploration. Cause I don't really remember what's in here. Well, I bet he tells you about how to get the, the magic. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Well, we're full up. Dactyl. 
Well, you are kind of like the bosses from Dungeon 2 in the Light Room. They're pretty cool, I think. I like them. Anyway, there's no dungeon. You can see the little symbol there. Let's go in here. Is this the dungeon part? Well, this might be... Oh. Oh, we got a heart piece. Oh, there we go. Cool. I didn't, wasn't even expecting that. I might be able to find all the heart pieces. I know where three more are. We've seen one. In the lake. And I know where two more are besides that. I have to think about the last one. I don't feel like looking it up. Anyway, we got the correct magic here is shown on the on the floor. You can just stand on it. I don't think you actually have to stand on it. And then cast our magic. For some reason calling down lightning ends the storm and causes the thing to grow. Well that's cool I guess. Anyway, I'm going to call that an episode. It's a little short, but that's alright. Give us more time to get through the dungeon next time. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.